what you guys what we have here is the most powerful mini pc in the world it's the more fine s500 plus mini pc the specs on this are absolutely amazing as you can see here ryzen 9 5900 hx it does take up to 64 gigabytes of ram at 3200 megahertz two nvme slots and an ssd slot on there as well it does have vega 8 graphics running at 2100 megahertz you can pause the screen and read all these at your own leisure everything as you get inside the box is listed here you got your user manual which makes it super easy to set up everything else is here laid out for you you got your hdmi cable your monitor mounting bracket here some screws your power plug your adapter and also a little adapter for your ssd and the unit itself so this is all you're going to need to get up and running the adapter itself is uh, changeable if it packed up you can always get one of these easily available uh, they are just like laptop adapters 120 watts ac 19 volts 6.32 amps have a barrel connector on here so pretty standard stuff easily rechangeable if you need to get a new one also we have a, a connector here which is pretty common with a normal uh, uk plug on here yours will be a different plug depending where you live has a pretty short hdmi cable here meter long probably and it's just the standard hdmi 2.0 and we have our bracket, which we can mount this onto a back of a monitor, which means you can hide the uh, uh, mini PC out of the way. And some screws for your NVMe drives. So let's take a look here. We've got this power cable here and the SATA on here. This is in case you want to put an extra SSD in here. On the front, we have our power button. We also have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, USB ports on here. Also, we have that Type C, which is a 15 watt 5 volt at 3 amps USB power delivery, which means you can charge your phone on here as well. And that Ryzen 9 sticker on the front. Also, on the side, we have some ventilation. And on the other side, we have some ventilation as well. The case is made of aluminium, which means you're going to get super nice, cool temperatures on here. I do like the design of this, it's a little bit bigger than your standard. Uh, mini PC which you've been seeing me uh, review on this channel but on the back here we do have uh, the power input for the DC also four USB 2.0 ports we also have a HDMI cable and a DP port on here which means two uh, display ports and we have two Ethernet ports on here one GPPS and also one 2.5 GPPS on here as well and that audio input and there's two little screws on here which we can remove to get access to the top and there's also four screws underneath these little rubber grommets two little mounting holes for your bracket and some ventilation on the bottom so let's remove the top here because this did come as a bare bone system and i need to add in some memory and also an nvme drive so when i remove the top here you do get access for that ssd on there these are your wi-fi cables and your nvme goes in here one of these slots is are supported up to one terabyte NVMe and the other one will support up to a 512 NVMe. Also on here we have our Wi-Fi card and our SATA port for this power cable here so in case you want to put in an SSD and our two uh, RAM slots on here as well and these take up to 3200 megahertz RAM DDR4 so I'm going to be populating these two with 32 gigabytes of RAM. The Wi-Fi card is the Intel AX210 and that means it's Wi-Fi 6 and we also have Bluetooth 5.2 on here as well. So let me go ahead and populate the NVMe slot and also the RAM in here so we can put this through the test. I'm going to be using this crucial RAM here. I'm going to insert this and uh, we should be able to get up and running very shortly. So we have plenty of expansion and upgradability on this mini PC and it's a pretty fast uh, mini PC. In fact, it's the fastest one that I've reviewed on this channel. And I'm pretty much blown away by the performance of these little mini PCs of late. And this one I'm looking forward to reviewing because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty powerful with that Ryzen 9 in here. So let me go ahead and just quickly put this uh, NVMe drive in here. This is an Intel NVMe drive, 512 gigabytes, and that will be plenty fine for this uh, review. Now, the little sponge thing on top of the NVMe drive is a thermal pad, so don't worry about that. It's to keep it cool. But when we flip it over and remove the bottom plate here, you can see we do have that big exhaust fan here, which will keep the processor cool. We also have the NVMe slot here for populating our second NVMe drive here. Now, the good thing about this fan is it's accessible where we can clean it. And we also have that big copper plate on here, keeping that CPU cool. 
we have our CMOS here, which we get access to. So we can access all the key areas to keep our little mini PC uh, cleaned and updated. So let's do some benchmarks here. This is what everyone wants to see. We're going to be running the 3D mark on this one. This one is the Night Raid score, 17,792. Graphic score, 19,000. 94 the cpu score is 12836 pretty impressive scores there as you can see the score is great and this is a really important test to run next up we've got a 3d mark and this is going to be our benchmark here so let's go ahead and do the time spy score 1643 graphic score is 14041 and the cpu score is 8122 so pretty decent scores uh, for the time spy score there so really impressive scores. Let's move on to some more benchmarks so you can see what this little mini PC can do. We're going to run Geekbench here and we'll see what scores we get here for this one. So this is 16,201 and this was the compute benchmark. We're going to do the uh, CPU benchmark here as well so you can see that. So let me quickly go ahead and run this one. So this is running the CPU uh, benchmark here and you can get an idea of what sort of uh, scores you can expect so we're going to go ahead and see what these are single core is 1542 and the multi-core is 7764 so pretty impressive scores let me run the cinebench one here for you you can see here 11206 points for the cinebench score so pretty impressive scoring there also had no thermal throttling temperatures were pretty good uh, for this midi pc as well now, when you're running Cinebench, you're going to see the odd high temps, and that's just pretty normal for torturing the little mini PC like this. Let's run the 140 Mbps 4K Ultra HD 10-bit file, and you can see when I skip this file, it doesn't miss a beat. You can play this content really easy. You can also play 4K content like movies and things like that with no problems at all. Nice and silky smooth, as you can see here. No jerkiness. So if you want to run this as your main media server, you could do quite easily and play all your movie files on here. And it should have no problems at all. So a very powerful little mini PC here. Now I'm going to put these specs up on the screen here so you can read these at your own leisure. You can see the TDP on the CPU there is 45 watts, which is pretty impressive. So again, this is a super powerful uh, mini PC. And I think at this full price point, it's a real bargain is probably one of the best mini pcs out there on the market there's plenty of these coming out now with the ryzen 9 at 5900 hx which is the most powerful cpu you can put into a little mini pc like this the bios if you're wondering is unlocked which means it gives you access to overclocking and other uh, tweaks that you might want to do in the bios so it's not been locked down it is freely available to you to do whatever you like in here just be careful what you're doing in here if you don't understand uh, about the BIOS and how to do these things because you can break your little mini PC and you'll have to reset it. So inside here, you can see the temperatures. If you're wondering, the CPU is idling at around about 56, 55 here, which is pretty good. And you can see that maximum temp 89.1, which is pretty impressive. No thermal throttling, as you can see there. Pretty impressive stuff. Now, you may be wondering, who is this PC for? Well, this is Dirt 4. You can see 1080p uh, medium settings does have some anti-aliasing on here. Also, the Witcher 1080p, and you can see we're getting 40 FPS. Also, we have Grand Theft Auto running at 60 FPS here with Virtual Sync on. And, uh, you know, 1080p gaming is pretty doable on this little mini PC on some games. So it's pretty impressive. It's not going to be replacing your 1080p gaming desktop PC just yet, but it is a pretty impressive little mini PC. Now, if you want to do some uh, Photoshop and also maybe a bit of editing videos, you can do that on this mini PC, watching YouTube. You can do all of that with this mini PC. It's a pretty powerful little machine. Now, people always complain about the price. And again, yes, it is £567. But you have to remember, you're getting a lot of spec packed into a little tiny device, and it's bleeding edge technology. This is why these little mini PCs are super expensive. If you want a cheap mini PC, there is cheaper options out there, but don't expect to be doing 
some of the stuff you're seeing in this video because it just won't be able to achieve it. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. I'm pretty impressed with it. Anyway, I'll leave all the information and links in the video description if you're looking for a mini PC and you want one of the best ones on the market right now. Check out the Morphine S500 Plus. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say special thanks for all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, a special shout out to my tier three YouTube members, Mike Bigness, Albert Hewson, Mar Sierra, Jedi Buddhist, Bill's Computer Repair, Welsh Tony One, and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys rock. And I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.